Although you may not want to, anybody out there can install a bedroom of carpet. In this video, we're going to go ahead and break it down step by step how to make that happen and so much more. I don't know what more is, but yeah, we're going to act like it's a big thing. So what's good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and we have a wood subfloor. Beautiful looking wood, but we're going to cover it up anyway. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go ahead and throw the carpet tack strips all around the perimeter of the room and when you're installing these, make sure they're a fingertip space away from the baseboards. On top of that, Make sure the little teeny tiny nails that cut your fingers open when you grab them are pointed towards the baseboards. If they're not pointed towards your wall, then when you stretch it on, it's not going to hold. It's going to be a hot mess and you got to do the total do-over. Nobody wants to do a do-over when you think you're almost done. So you're going to work your way around every single bit of the room. Don't you skip anything, door jams and all. And once you've made it all the way around the room, it's time for that good, good pad. So go ahead and lay down your first shot there, slide it around, net up the sidewall rough cut everything in you do not have to be perfect when it comes to pad by any stretch just know you can't have any gaps and if you get a gap fill the gap in nobody's ever going to see or know so you could slop and pop and life is good if it's a wood sub for you can go ahead and swing that stapler all kinds of wild all around the room there securing it to the floor and then once it's all trimmed in tracing your blade to the tack strip leaving maybe a hairline gap so when you stretch it there's a little bit of wiggle room and doesn't go on top of the tack strip but just that little teeny tiny gap from the pad to the tack strip will be perfect we're going to go ahead and finish tetrising this in together yeah we play video games on our job sites now i'm saying don't have to be perfect there at all go ahead have, carry on some conversation trim it in we don't edit anything either clearly then once everything's filled in is carpet time clackety clack eventually i'm going to show up with some carpet you know i walk all the way out to the van fold it in half and then bring it on up have some conversation watch some videos on our phones laugh about stuff and then once you get the carpet all laid out floppity floppity flop you want to rough cut all that in you want to work with about two inches up every single wall that you're going to be stretching on and once you have that you realize you had to fill the closet so we're going to go ahead and burn this seam on the closet here and once that's done we're going to start stretching everything in when burning seams just make sure both edges are nice clean cut and the backing is touching when you melt it together and no fibers are going down in it fibers fall in the glue is game over that's going to be one ugly seam now time to stretch we're going to start on the closet here lock the closet on because we like to get the nonsense out of the way first so as you tap that on all the way around the room crease it onto the tack strip and then trim and tuck it in with your knife and hook knife now when you're trimming it in do not cut your fingertips off it will be oh so easy for you to do that so take your time never rush and always keep your eye on the blade take you off the blade might lose fingertip finish stretching all the way around the room basically doing opposite walls so if you kick on the one wall with the closet you go to the opposite wall and stretch that way then you start on the next wall you lock that one on then you go to the opposite wall on that one stretch it on crease everything real good know that it's going to be stuck to the tack strip once all that's good to go then it's time to trim and tuck like we're doing in this for the finale once you're all done with that bring in your garbage bag pick up all your scraps and you have a phenomenal c plus job that's oh so acceptable